Welcome back friends, welcome back to the homestead. Just thought I'd do a quick September update. I'm not gonna walk around everywhere really. Um, just as autumn comes into play, um, trees are starting to show the autumnal colors. Uh, yeah, just thought I'd do a quick September update tour. Um, so over in the area where um, I tried out these cobra beans this year, um, see they cropped well. Uh, to, to be honest, we've had loads off here and these are just left to turn to seed, um, which we'll use during the winter and plant next year. I'm great, really pleased with this, um, the cobra beans cropping. Um, compost, which we've seen on another video, I will wander straight over to the greenhouses. Just to see what's going on in there. So a lot of the plants not looking their best now, but we're taking the last of the tomatoes off. Um, and we've enjoyed the bounteous crops of tomatoes this year, of the different varieties. I've already planted, you can see I accidentally dropped some uh, Swiss chard seed there, but here I've planted, this is red Russian kale. And then um, when the tomatoes are pulled out, we'll put the red Russian kale in and see how it survives over winter in the greenhouse. If we have a mild winter like last year, then that'll be fine. In the old greenhouse, pretty much the same picture really. Um, tomatoes have done well. Still lots getting ready. We're making lots of preserves and pickles and whatnot. Um, there's our runner beans. Again, these, what's left on there will be used um, for seed. We're expecting our first frost soon, maybe a week after next. This week's supposed to be quite cloudy, so um, the temp night temperatures should be kept warm. Let's just go up into the yard. You can probably hear all the crickets. It sounds like it's the middle of summer, but it's not. Um, This aerial here was just, um, we planted out only a month ago, I think six weeks ago, with some nasturtiums, some um, autumn beauty sunflowers, which have come to flower. Um, no idea what that is, but it's all taken over, and a few more sunflowers. You know, they're not gonna be huge. Well, they're not huge anyway, but it was an old, um, I think it was an old cherry tree and that was an old hazelnut tree, for sure. I'm not sure about the cherry. There's some crocuses as well, autumnal crocuses coming out. But it's, you know, the sturgeons are taking over. That's, it's turned that little area, which was a little bit missing something. And some hostas as well. It's made it a bit more appealing to the eye. There's a butterfly there. Don't know how close it'll let me get. The last of the flowers are just coming out. Now, which is good. Let's just go over to the market garden. See what's going on over there. We're starting to put some of the beds to sleep now, if that's the right word. Um, certainly preparing them for winter, giving them a cover of compost. Tidying some of them up, tidying up the garden, getting it kind of finished. So there was the flowers there. They've been taken out, there's some um, parsley that's been left. That was our peas, they've all gone now. And the bed's been prepped. Carrots still to harvest. But we have been obviously picking them out and there's some really nice ones in there now. Um, this bed is now, it's a little bit of dill that I've sown. Um, how 
big it will get, I don't know. But the pak choys are looking good, and we've started eating them as well. We've harvested the kale. Um, but that squash are doing whatever they're doing, which is not a lot really, but we're leaving them for now. There are a few fruits on there, to be fair, but I, I don't know how big they'll get. Um, we suffered a lot with caterpillars, uh, butterflies this year, but we're going to get nets for next year. Um, this uh, tender stem broccoli has been great, actually. We've left it now to go to seed for next year. But you just keep cutting it, and it keeps growing back. And you get these little broccolis, um, which are lovely. And it's, the stem is soft all the way down. Um, lovely steamed. And you can eat, even eat when it's gone to flower as well. Minus the caterpillar, obviously. Um, so this bed over here was broad beans. And I've now planted that out with um, spinach, um, perpetual spinach, this is. So it should grow into a nice bush and it's fairly, it's hardy and also um, bolt hard as well. Not that we nearly have to worry about bolting at this time of year, but um, so that's, you know, these are all small transplants. They've come on nicely. The cat has destroyed a couple of them. Um, snowball turnips, we'll see what we'll get with those. And then there's some red patchoy. If you can see, again, these are coming out. These are little seedlings, and uh, they're going nicely as well. So it's great to, you know, we turned the bed over within 24 hours, and we had the seedlings all ready to go in. So a very, you know, efficient way of working. Um, oh, um, yeah, parsnips. So these were a first in this, I don't think, Anyone's ever successfully grown parsnips here. Um, but if we just, yeah, it looks like there's some nice roots on there. There will be parsnips for Christmas, um, which is good. They're really hard to find in the shops here. You can start to get them, um, but it's lovely to grow our own. And next year we'll definitely be growing some more and we'll stage them as well so we can enjoy the harvest sooner. You know, a lot of the beds now you see, nothing in. Um, some are waiting for a coat of compost, some have already got it. Our, comp our new compost has only just sort of come online, so it's only just become accessible for us to use. Um, beans, all the beans now are waiting to dry. These uh, fire tongue velotti beans, you can see so they're starting to, starting to dry nicely now. We'll probably need to bring them indoors to finish off. Um, Swede, yeah, had some success with Swede, you know, some half decent sized ones. There's a nice one down there. Um, some later carrots, more beans, lots of dwarf beans, which are drying out now. Um, this is kind of the stage four of the my head garden with slightly shorter beds and this is well it's all winter produce really um, we've started picking some beetroots already the bigger ones um, lots of chard ready some more spinach which we've been harvesting that's nearly done now um, these are our chicories which are um, they're growing really nicely actually and they're starting to turn red they're starting to put some heads together um, kale some winter kale that I've sown some other cabbages um, some late peas which are just purely for the, <coughs> the shoots which I've shown in the previous video but um, these shoots taste just like peas um, some volunteer chicory I think I dropped some seeds there but did nothing with them and they just come up. Um, yeah, some more um, brassicas and, and winter cabbages, etc. This is a lamb's leaf salad. 
which you can just keep picking and picking and we'll um, put it in the, in the greenhouse as well over winter and some dill we always got dill on hand so yeah that's you can see we've started repairing um, we've chipped now all the trees have been processed from that area um, we've chipped them all and we've started rebuilding some of the paths um, oh this is the no dig potatoes not the best harvest this year a bit disappointing but we weren't kind of on top of things with covid and etc and then having to um school our daughter at home obviously um, that took our attention and so we weren't able to get the potatoes in the ground as soon as we wanted to and uh, the weather wasn't the best this year but we've harvested them now and you can see on this bed all the grass that's been trimmed from around has been heaped onto here to build the beds up um, because we found on the other side of the house with the other no dig beds which you've seen in other videos um, using actually the cuttings from around was far more successful than just using hay so we'll, we'll do that on this side as well um, this these this bed here was only harvested last week so we've still got to put the any find some grass to put on there um, what else these collets are just humongous we won't be growing these next year because um, we won't get a net big enough but you can see they've even fallen over and continue to grow but they're, the, these are half brussels and half um, kale so you get these kind of little where the brussels would be you get the little flowers uh, in, the, in the armpits so yeah Still stuff going on, but you know, we're starting to wind it down now and get ready for winter. So that's our um, autumnal update, which is some hemp there that we're getting, just want to collect the seed on. Our autumnal update um, for Baltic homesteaders. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for um, your likes and comments and interactions. Um, if you've got any questions, then please do leave them in the comment below. And if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe. Got lots of great videos coming out soon. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.